Welcome to CBS Sports Conference of NCAA Basketball. Today's game is between the Tennessee Volunteers and the Winthrop Eagles. Before we get to the tip-off, let's check in with two players who everyone has their eyes on. And our starting lineup. These two studs at the power forward spot deserve extra attention, guys. They usually play hard and play well, so keep an eye on Now, of course, Longwood was not in NCAA Basketball 10, so I went with the runners-up in the Big South, which was Winthrop. So here we go, Tennessee versus Winthrop slash Longwood. Let's tip this thing off. I'll be referring to Winthrop as Longwood from here on out. They just weren't in the game in order to do the simulation. So hopefully Longwood doesn't advance in the real life because then I'd have to do it again for the second round. Tennessee, though, missing that first basket. And also, all those records and rankings and all that stuff, that was from the 2008-2009 season. But all the players are updated. Not Winthrop, just Tennessee's. Contact, no foul called, though. Longwood scores first. Let's see if Tennessee can respond and get some points on the board. Not able to score on their first two possessions. Looking over in the corner. Back outside, looking down low, rising, firing, and knocking it down. Longwood out to an early 4 nothing lead right now. Winthrop's, or excuse me, Longwood's hope is loving what he is seeing. And Josiah James will be heading to the line here. Rick Barnes is liking what he was seeing there. He likes the aggressiveness. And they're already starting to bring in some substitutes for Longwood. Josiah James, apparently a business major at the line. Knocks down the first one. Down the second one as well to make it a 4-2 to two game. Looked like they are going to bring the backcourt pressure too. Longwood able to escape. Crowd chanting for defense. Tennessee gets a hand on it and they come up with the steal. Looking to get their first basket of the game. Chandler with it. Over to James, he rises, fires, and knocks it down. Josiah James ties it up for Tennessee. And getting double to half court, able to escape out of it. Lil Hopstep heading to the line, foul on John Fulkerson. Now at the line, Winthrop slash Longwood. <laughs> Knocks down the first one. They knock down the second one as well. Tennessee getting trapped. Longwood, oh, they knock it loose. Tennessee's able to hang on to it, though. Chandler with it. Looking over in the corner to James again. Does not connect. They may be relying a bit too much on Josiah James right now. Contact, no foul call. Tennessee with the good stop. Chandler with it. Decides to bring it back a little bit. Back out to James, looking down low. Bad pass. Not sure why he was trying to throw that one. Either way, it's a turnover for Tennessee. Longwood comes up with it. On the left side. Looking down low. Two minutes left on the game. 
Longwood fading away, does not connect. Out on the left wing. Vescovita Chandler does not connect on the three. Tennessee has only made one shot from the floor this game. Their other two points were from the line. Looking for a good shot. Looking to move the ball around. Down low. Longwood does not make it. Tennessee pushing the ball up the floor. Vescovy with it. Looks down low to Chandler. He puts it up and in. Six to six. Tennessee tied with Longwood. And able to escape out of it. Good pass down low. Good finish by Longwood as well, making it eight to six. Both teams not shooting that well, even though Longwood's now three of six. Vescovy with it. Little spin move, contact. No foul called. The refs swallow their whistle. Longwood for three. Does not connect. Rick Barnes wants to seem to get a quick two for one. Let's see if they listen to him. James pulling it up. Oh, oh. They take the quick shot. It gets rejected, though. They tried to go for the quick two for one, but it got rejected. Best could be with it. Looking down low to James. Knocks it down. Josiah James with six points of their eight. Longwood able to escape the pressure. Oh, he had a he had a pass to the basket. I don't know why he didn't keep driving. Looking to use the pick and roll. Contact, no foul called. It doesn't matter. He puts it up and in to make it 10 to 8. Contact, no foul called. Chandler, though, gets his own rebound. Puts it up and in. So we are now tied at 10 heading into the half. Neither team really shooting that well, as you can see. One of Longwood's goals was to take and make the three. They're shooting 0%. Tennessee wanted to take more shots than Longwood. They've been doing it so far. James has been leading all scorers with six so far. Longwood leading the, leading the way in rebounding as well, and then both teams tied for assists. Looking to move the ball around. Down low, fading away. Good shot there for Longwood. Now up 12 to 10. For three, Josiah James doesn't connect. Good rebound, though. Gets rejected again, Fulkerson. Puts it up and in, tying it back up at 12. Crowd is on their feet. A lot of Tennessee fans in here, but they haven't had the lead at any point in this game. They're not going to get it there either. Longwood jumping back out to a two-point lead. Five ties, six lead changes, but that includes going from a tie to somebody having the lead. Knocking it down. Tennessee ties it up. Now they just need to get a stop on the defensive end. 14 to 14. Driving. Contact. No foul called. They come up with the rebound. This is Tennessee's chance to take the lead. Chandler with it. Off ball pick and roll. Best can be had set the screen. Now with the ball screen. They work the perimeter. Chandler at the top of the key, looking down low to James, fading away. Knocks it down, giving Tennessee their first lead of this ball game. 16 to 14. Rick Barnes likes to see them going inside. Crowd chanting for DDD defense. Contact, no foul called there. Comes up with his own offensive rebound. Puts it back up and in. Longwood tying it back up here at 16. Over in the corner. 
Back out, looking down low to Vescovy, fading away, doesn't connect. I don't think Tennessee wants Vescovy to be taking fadeaway shots out of the post. That's not really his game. Looking down low, rising, firing. Missing the shot though, they come up with the rebound. Down low, they get it to fall. Two minutes to go in this game. Tennessee up by two. Let's see if they can hold on to this lead. Oh, nice little post move for Longwood. Oh, it hit the back, rimming out. Tennessee comes up with the stop, looking to extend the lead. Chandler finds Vescovy down low, and he puts it up and in. Tennessee now with a four-point advantage, starting to get some separation here. Getting trapped as well. Getting trapped again, and they come up with the steal. Uh-oh, bad pass. It'll stay volunteer basketball, though. Kennedy Chandler with four points and five assists. Addition and swishing out there. James rises, fires, misses the shot, but what a rebound by Fulkerson. Puts it up and in. Six-point game, 22 to 16. Getting trapped in the backcourt. One minute to go. Tennessee up by six. They take a three. Doesn't connect. Tennessee on a 10 to 2 run to close things out here. Forty-five seconds to go in this one. James with it, looking down low to Chandler. Foul called. Heading to the line. Foul on point guard number twenty-one. A couple of three will chance to three. Knocks down the first one. Down the second one as well to make this 24 to 16. Longwood takes a timeout. All right, coming out of the timeout, let's see what Longwood came up with. 40 seconds to go, almost turning the ball over. Hanging on to it though. Just passing the ball around. They take a quick shot. Not able to connect though, and now they gotta play the fouling game. Longwood hasn't scored in the last two and a half minutes as Tennessee's gone on this huge run. And now Longwood has to play the fouling game. 26.5 seconds left. 24.8. Now they're bringing in the substitutes. Kennedy Chandler at the line. Knocks down the first one. This one to make it a double digit lead. Get out of the paint, John Fulkerson. Seven points for Chandler. Three of three at the line, two of four from the field. Misses the second one, though. Along with 20 seconds to go in this game. Trying to get a quick shot, getting doubled. Over in the corner. Taking a while here, down to 13 seconds. Misses the shot, they come up with the rebound. Looks like Winther has called off the dogs. Five seconds to go. And that will be it. Tennessee defeats Longwood, a.k.a. Winthrop, because Longwood wasn't in NCAA Basketball 10. 
Kennedy Chandler winning player of the game with seven points and five assists. Swishing and dishing out there. That concludes our presentation on CBS Sports. For Coach Bill Raftery, I'm Gus Johnson saying so long. Tennessee advancing on to the second round, 25 to 16. So now let's take a look at Tennessee's statistics. John Fulkerson with four, Plavsic with two, Josiah James with 10, Vescovy with two, and then Chandler with seven points and five assists. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Sucks that Longwood wasn't in NCAA basketball 10 and we had to use Winthrop. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all later.